getting a little creepy here in Studio C this morning. Rob Myas is the executive director for the Organization for Bat Conservation at the Cranbrook Institute of Science. And um, sitting next to me is a bat. Does this bat have a name? Yeah, the, the bat's name is Radar. Radar, so yeah, I remember our, radar. Our, yeah, our little bats around here eat tons of insects. That's all that they eat. One bat by itself eats between 2,000 and 5,000 insects a night. A and night? We, we only have micro bats, and if you look, look at how tiny the bat's eyes are. Aww. They have huge ears, and yeah. if you hold on to radar, Radar's really? an injured bat that lives at Cranbrook Institute of Science. And, I have and to that, kind of hold his neck a little bit. So I'm yeah, there we go. Well, you see, what he's doing right now is he's echolocating. So his mouth is opening and closing, but we can't hear the bat's echolocation. Mm -hmm. So what this does is it allows us wow. to be able to hear. So move him around a little bit more. There we go. So at night, they're not blind, but they find their food, they find the moths and beetles and mosquitoes by flying around and using echolocation. So that's the way that they're able to get around. So that what is that thing called? The bat? bat yeah, this is called a bat box three, bat but it's box. a bat detector. And so it picks up the bat's uh, high frequency echolocation calls. So let's put him back in here. Okay, and if I just put him down, he'll come yeah, crawl yeah, off yeah, my yeah. hand. There you go. Perfect, all, all right, right radar, great. Very good. So radar's been with us for about six years. How, how long do bats Live. They could live to be 20 to 30 years old. Really? And think about how different that is than like a rodent. So people will often say that bats are just rats with wings, but right. you know, rodents don't live very long. They've got feelings too, you yeah. know. <laughs> you know, a bat also usually has one or two babies once a year. So they don't have litters. And it's actually one of the difficult things when we're trying to conserve bats, you know, because bats eat so many insects. Mm -hmm. When we want to try to conserve them, they don't live very long. This one, however, does not eat insects, is that correct? It doesn't. So, um, do you know what it is? It's a vampire bat? It's a vampire bat. So, a lot of people will be afraid of... Will you, hold, will you grab this glove off for oh, me? Oh, yes, I Okay, will. cool, sure. thanks. So, uh, a lot of people are afraid of vampire bats. So, why don't you, why don't you feel that wing right there? Hold, Should I take yeah, my glove off? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. So, what I'd like people to be able to see is that a bat's wing is just like our hand. Now, this is a bat that was born in captivity. Okay. It was born at a zoo, and that's why it has a tag right there so okay, it kind of feels like a spider web maybe or just like a little it's, like skin isn't it really thin yeah so I tell people it feels a little bit like your eyelid you know it's just mm -hmm. very thin skin um, if a bat gets injured in the wild it does usually get eaten by predators so maybe like a raccoon or a cat but it does eat blood. This one only drinks blood. It usually goes up to cows. And what's really cool is that it walks on its hind legs. <laughs> so it lands and it walks. And can you imagine European explorers that landed here in the New World and they see these little mammals walking around drinking blood from people and, it, and cows? And, and it, the human blood would be something it would consume. Absolutely. If you slept out in the middle right. of the Brazilian rainforest, you could be fed upon by vampire Let's bats. Let's put that dude back but, in the cage. <laughs> <laughs> almost entirely, though, they just feed off of cows, mm -hmm. and, okay. if you, and and you're never going to sleep out in the middle of the rainforest by by yourself unless right. there's some kind of emergency, and right. we don't foresee that happening. So I'm really excited. This uh, you know tomorrow is our is our uh, 11th annual Great Lakes Bat Festival, and. One of the animals that we're going to have there is this wonderful animal this so right cool. here. His name is Congo, and Congo, Congo is a straw-colored flying fox. Can I hold Congo? Yeah, let's see. All right. And Don't he'll drop, should go right to you. There cool. we go. Good. Congo is 19 years old. Uh, big fruit bats are are bats that just eat fruit. They this one lives in Africa. He's got kind of sharp nails. Is it hurting you? No, no, it's there. Okay. We go. Okay, I'm good. good. Okay. I love this color of the bat. Um, if you can turn them right here. <laughs> There he goes he on your bite, arm. Does he? No, he doesn't. Oh, his nails are sharp. They're sharp, and that's why especially we're wearing the gloves. In the wild, obviously, a bat would bite to protect itself. These bats are injured or orphaned bats, so they, they know me, and mm -hmm. they trust me to, mm -hmm. you know, to work with them. But in the wild, these eat fruit, and they spread seeds. So it's really important that they are in the rainforest because they spread the seeds throughout the rainforest. It's got interesting color, too, on his neck. I love and, the and color. And they kind of hum a little bit, or purr. Is that... Is that... That's their... Um, their 
uh, breathing. That's their heart rate. Wow. Their, his heart rate right now is about 300 beats a minute. Jeez. Ours is about 75 or so, and bats uh, in flight are over a thousand beats a minute. Now, do bats really get in your hair? And is, Let's or is see. That just, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even like that. Did you hear he him even, squawk? Yeah, he made that. <laughs> yeah. Like that, that sound you. You know, you they don't. Do they don't want to go in your hair. No. Uh, you know. Bats will fly down around us because they eat insects, but they, they're not interested in a predator. Mm -hmm. They don't want to land on us. You know, again, if you find a bat on the ground, you should never pick it up right. because um, it, it could bite to protect okay. itself. All right, now can kids t touch the bats if they do? Not touch the bats, no. Nope. They don't, you know, they, that would be scary for, you know, for the bats, but mm -hmm. they can come and see live bats, including the largest bat in the world. Largest bat in the world. Here's a picture of that bat, if we can get that. Um, it's with Conan. Was he a, a little bit afraid of that bat? <laughs> Conan was, yeah, exactly. <laughs> he was pretty afraid of the bat, but um, you know, what, what was really wonderful is, is that uh, towards the end, he thought bats were really cool mm -hmm. until it peed all over him. Oh, nice. So. Oh, Conan, <laughs> sorry. Again, the show is tomorrow, 8 a.m. to uh, 8, 10 p.m., 10 a.m. to 7 to 8 p.m. Why don't we just show the graphic again? <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> that's all right. All right, thank you so much for joining us. And that's it's going to be a great show. I was thinking about bringing my kids out, and, and you left the cage open. Oh, place. he's all right. Oh, he's all right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Great. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see everybody tomorrow at the Southfield Pavilion. Wonderful. All right, Dina, over to you. Good job, Cam. You're so brave. Uh, what is in your purse? How many items? I was surprised by this survey. I was surprised particularly about one thing that uh, apparently women are carrying around in their purse. We'll talk about that and we'll show you the worst movie death. I don't know if I can watch, but we'll try it. Down to the nightclub. Ooh, women be riding.